What's going on, YouTube? Now, I want to today. I want to talk about the LG Wing. Now, this is probably the most innovative device that I have. Innovative, seriously, because there's just no other phone on the market like this. Like this is crazy. <laughs> I'm serious. I, I, it's just, I love this. I love this device. I mean. There's nothing out there in the market like this that I know of, okay? You got your screen up here. You got your small screen down here. It's just awesome. I love this device. Let's talk about it. Now, is it worth picking up in 2023? I'm going to say, heck yes. Now, you may ask why. Well, the first thing, I love the design. Now, I got, let me close this. I got this case on it. Well, let me take it off just real quick now. Y'all, excuse me. I, I'm not going to leave this case off long because I'm having an issue with one of my fingers and um, really, really hurts and sore. But the design of this is absolutely beautiful. It looks like a Note 20 Ultra. That's what it reminds me of. But it's a beautiful design. And talk about premium. My goodness. When you hold this in your hand without a case, you're going to absolutely love it. Now, keep in mind, this, this phone is kind of heavy. So if you're a type of person that don't like heavy devices, you do not want this because this thing is like a heavy brick. But it's the edge. It's, it's rounded. It's smooth. And it feels super premium and expensive. But it's not a thin and light phone. It's just not. OK, so if you're looking for a thin and light phone, look somewhere else. <laughs> now. Innovation, like I said, because of this, that's what makes it so innovative Two, you know, you got this screen on a swivel. I mean, I just love this. This is so this is so hot. <laughs> now, when it comes to build quality, Gorilla Glass 5 on the front and the back, military grade drop coating, you know, protection on it. So this will hold up in drops. Now, I'm not going to tell you to go out there and drop it on cement or concrete. And don't expect no damage now. Come on now. But maybe wood or something else, you, but you'll be fine. But just put a little case on it now. You're not, the cases are not super protective, but you can get like a shell, something like this. Now, I don't even remember where I got this from. I don't know if it was eBay or Amazon. I don't remember. But go on eBay, go on Amazon. Look, you may find it. Um, Cause I don't, I don't really remember where I got it from, but it's not super protective, honestly, but it's better than having nothing on there. So, but it does have excellent build quality, um, you know, to boot. And it has a beautiful 6.8 inch OLED display, 1080p, 1080p OLED display. Beautiful. Gets nice and bright. I like the fact that there's no bezels on the side at all. Thin bezel at the top and the bottom. This is the way the front display of the LG six LG V60 should have been, you know, they got thick bezels all the way around the phone and that little notch at the top around the camera cutout, which I absolutely hate. It should have been like this. See the camera. Actually, this one has a, um, a pop-up camera. Yeah. This one has a pop-up camera. It's slow, but you know, it's there. It works, but no face unlock. So I don't know why they didn't put face unlock on this. It's unfortunate, but you get used to it. Now you do have, uh, you do have the in-display fingerprint sensor. Has a little haptic feedback, and it also has, you know, a little what do you call that? Let me see. Yeah, you got a little animation there. All right, and of course you got always on display, which is nice. Me and my baby there, and you can see the time, the date, the day, battery percentage, notifications, but they. They're kind of small, and you know, if you had a f the phone a little distance from you, you may not be able to tell what those are. I just wish they would have changed it up a little bit, made you know this a little bigger. I do like how bright the um, always on display gets. Sometimes gets very, very bright, easy to see the time. So I like that. Now the fingerprint sensor, like I said, there are three different animations that you could use to change it, which is cool because you don't get any animations with Samsung devices when it comes to the fingerprint sensor, but you get three different choices with this LG wing, which is nice. Now, 
The secondary display is a 3.9 inch 1080p GeoLED display, but it still looks beautiful. You know, it still looks nice. You switch that. It still looks nice. It's nice and bright. And the rotating display is great. Now, you know what else you're going to love about this? For those of you that are out there looking for a smartphone, the price for this, I don't know, but it's going to be fairly cheap. You know, around the 200s. You know, you may get it cheaper some, you know, other places, but around the 200, you're going to get it under $300 for sure. Okay, no doubt about that. But expandable memory up to two terabytes. So basically unlimited storage. So if you're a storage monster like me, you just get yourself a terabyte SD card. You're going to be good. You ain't going to have to worry about storage at all. And this model here came with 256 gigs of internal storage. So not only do you have unlimited expandable storage, you also have 256 gigs of internal storage, which is nice. And when it comes to performance, of course, you got Snapdragon 765. It's a game, <clears throat> excuse me, it's a gaming chip, but it's a good chip because everything, everything works really good. Let me close, put it back regular. Everything operates pretty fast, pretty smooth, no problems at all. And I like, I like how smooth it feels when you're using it and the animations. I mean, I like it a lot, really. I really love this phone. I love the display. I love how it feels in my hand. I love how it performs. Now, I'm not saying it's the fastest phone on the market, but it's fast enough. It'll be fast enough for the average person. You're not going to have a problem when it comes to the speed. Now, if you want something super ridiculously fast, then you're going to want something else other than this. But I'm telling you, for the average person or even above average person, this is going to be fine for you when it comes to performance. Now, when this started out, it started out with Android 11. But LG promised up to Android 13 and it will get Android 13. Now, currently it's running Android 12. Now, what I believe is going to happen, <clears throat> excuse me, the LG V60 is going to get Android 13 first and then this will get it later. But it is going to get it. So if you're a type of person, you're interested in this and you're worrying about a software update now keep in mind android 13 is going to be the last android update but you're going to get android 13 now i'm just not caught up in android updates like that i'm just not some people are but if you are concerned saying you know it you know i want more than android 13 it ain't got enough android updates then, then you don't want to consider this device but i actually don't need um the newest version of android as long as the phone is performing well i'm not having no problems and for me the battery life on here has been great for me i literally can get a day and a half and that's my usage now i remember i said i mentioned something about battery life before with this device when i did a video and somebody put in the comment section that that's not true i can't get that you know how do you get that much battery with your device look don't tell me what's not true it's my phone I know what kind of battery life I'm getting. Just because you're not getting that type of battery life don't mean I'm not. I don't know. It could be something wrong with your unit, or it could be that maybe your phone is always searching for a signal or something like that. I don't know. Everybody's battery usage is going to vary because everybody uses their phone differently. I'm using 100% brightness. I'm using always on display at its max. I got everything maxed out. But I'm, I don't shoot videos. I don't take a lot of pictures. I don't use the camera hardly at all. I'm using my phone mainly for social media content and also like YouTube videos and regular movie videos. That's it. And some Spotify and surfing the net. That's it. OK, now I'm not on my phone all day long like some people can actually be on their phone like that. I can't. I actually have a job where I have to work and I have to put my phone away. So when I get my breaks, I use my phone. When I'm on my way to work, I use my phone. When I'm on, on my way home from work, I use my phone. When I get home during my break, I'm using my phone. That's how I use my phone. But to use it four, five, six, seven hours straight, I don't use my phones like that. And I don't play games on my phone. So my battery usage is going to be different than yours. But you do get a 4,000 milliamp hour battery. And for me, I'm getting a day and a half. Standby time is also great for me on this device. Now you do have the quick charge 4.0, which is not really fast, 
takes about an hour and 42 minutes from zero to 100. Wireless charging is just at 13 watts. Pretty slow. You're looking at about three hours to fully charge it. Now, the thing that's really cool about this phone, you do have IP, you have IP54 splash proof. So you do get a little bit of uh, water resistance, which is cool because I didn't expect any at all with this type of, dev of the device. Now, the biggest thing that disappoint me, not the, one of the biggest things, one of the biggest things that disappoint me, but this is number one on my list, is that this device has no dual stereo speakers. Oh, I hate that. I hate LG made that decision. Only one down firing speaker. But I will say this, the one down firing speaker on this device sounds really good because it has really good stereo sound and it has adequate loudness attached to it. So it ain't that bad, but it's just a shame when you go into that, that movie mode and you put on this thing, that thing, that grip lock right here. Yeah, grip lock. Where And this is cool because you can still get your notifications. You can still see the time, your battery percentage, the date and the day. But you hold your phone like this and just watch your movie. And it would be nice if you had sound coming at the top of this. It would just it would just make the, the experience so much more immersive. But you just got the one down at the bottom, but it is adequately loud and the sound quality is good. So I, that was a big mistake that LG made to me, in my opinion with this device and no headphone jack, which I didn't like the fact that they left off a headphone jack. And also they didn't put a quad DAC in there, which would have been nice. So those are the two biggest issues I have with this device. No quad DAC, well, three, no quad DAC, no headphone jack, and no dual stereo speakers. Other than that, love it. You do have pen support. So if you want to use a pen on this device, like, you know, not quite like the S Pen because the S Pen is inserted. And it's a Bluetooth S Pen, but it does have an LG pen you could buy and it, it'll support it, you know, if you want to use it on the screen. Now, the camera's really good. Like I said before, you got a pop up selfie. It's kind of slow, but it takes good quality photos for me. And also, just the regular photos from this device with those three cameras on the back, really quality, good photos and videos. Of course, you got the manual mode on here. So you can tweak everything however you want it. It's excellent. 4K at 60. I'm telling you, it's great. No problem. You got steady video recording, manual video mode, ma manual photo mode, portrait mode, night view, and you get YouTube live. So that's really cool. Now keep in mind, this is now this is a blunder on their part too, in my opinion. No wide angle, no wide angle on the selfie camera. Okay. But other than that, the cameras, in my opinion, are really great. I have no problem with the cameras at all, but is this worth it in 2023? To me, I would say absolutely yes. I really love this device. It's definitely quality, and the thing about it is just so unique. So unique. You're not gonna. You get this. You're not gonna see nobody with this device. And say you're in a restaurant or you're standing somewhere and you whip this out and you push that up and start holding it like this. Everybody's going to be like, what? what kind of phone is that? Like, I'm serious. This is one of them one of a kind generational type phones and definitely a head turner. No question about it. This is a head turner. Now, if you want to see all the functions of this device, which I'm not going to do in this video is not really a review. It's just, you know, basically to let you know, you know, if you would consider this device, do you think it's relevant? I think it's definitely relevant because it has some things that, you know, the phones nowadays don't have like expandable storage. That's something that you can't even find on a premium device no more. They, they don't phase that out. So that's something that's still prevalent on here. And if you want a head turner innovation, you want to get it right here. You want to get it right here. I'm telling you, you could also watch movies and then you could, everything you could do on this screen, you could do on this screen. It's just smaller. But if you want to see the full review on this that I did of this, where you can see all the functions, how everything works, just check out my full review on this. I'll leave it at the end of the video, um, you know, in the, in, the, in the corner of the box right over here. You'll see it. Check it out. It's very detailed. It's not no 10 minute video. So if you got some patience, take the time to watch it. Check it out. You can see all the functions of this and you can decide for yourself what do you think is worth picking up. 
I definitely recommend this device in 2023. It's a shame that LG is no longer around because they made some really great devices and they were a very innovative company. They weren't afraid to try new things. They really weren't. Now, some things they tried, they did well in and they just didn't stick with it. And of course, their software updates were not fast enough because their marketing was pretty bad. But they made some quality products and they were the first to um, to um, innovate on a lot of things. But this was their most innovative device that I've ever seen from this company to this day. And it's a shame that they had to exit the smartphone market because of money. But this is something that I think you should definitely check out. Like I said, it's definitely a head turner and it's a hundred percent quality. I've had no issues with this device since I've had it. And I've had it almost two years. It's a hundred percent quality. You will love the way this feels in your hand without a case. Now, like I said, I prefer a case because if I drop it, I don't want to work. I don't want to concern myself with breaking the screen. So I got this nice case, but I don't remember where I got it from. So please don't ask me because I don't know. All I can say is check on eBay, check Amazon and see if this thing is still you know, out there. But I just don't remember which one it was. So thank you very much for viewing this content. I do appreciate it. Please hit that thumbs up button and hit the subscribe button if you want to see more content like this in the future. All right. I hope you guys are staying safe, staying well out there. And I'll check you guys out in the next one. Peace.